hello everyone, welcome back. We're playing some Kerbal Space Program, in fact, for Ralph Kerman and Co. This is the series where we are in career mode, and we have no objective yet. The obvious objective is to complete the tech tree, so that's the temporary objective. But, as you can see, we've got 146 science points, and we need 160 to get this new science stuff. Which is a bit annoying, because more science equals the quicker we earn science. So, we're going to go and build a zeppelin. Is it a zeppelin? Or an air balloon? I guess it's an air balloon. Okay, so we're in the space plane hangar and we're building the air balloon we put on a load of fuel tanks and a very small engine and an air balloon and some landing struts I tried getting all of this all perfect so I put on a load of science and the air balloon was a nightmare to get on right I try and get it all perfect, generic caps lock balloon. For the win. I should have added for the win. Because that's so much better. It is for the win! Our air balloon will go and win life. It will win life. In 10 times speed here, we turn around in IVA view because that took forever. Well, it's actually 40 times speed if you include the in-game time warp that I used. Just that number in the top left, that's just the time warp that I add in the editor. I go in IVA view, do a bit of messing around in IVA view. Pretty low on fuel already. We don't have a jet engine, which is a bit annoying. But hopefully we will get the jet engine sometime. Because it will be pretty useful. Maybe on like lathe or somewhere. I could get some data from the sea. Or maybe an, make an SSTO. We land in four times time warp for no particular reason. So we just take a bit of sciencey stuff. Do some EVA reports and stuff. We take a surface sample. And I can't get back in the ship. Should have thought of that. But oh well, I plant a flag, I take a screenshot, it's all fine. So we get, then we recover the vessel, we get 41 science, which on top of what we got from Jebediah is quite a lot. That's 52 science, but now we have to build a rocket. going to be doing something pretty incredible because we've gone to the moon or moon or mun yeah it's the mun let's settle on that we've been to minmus but what's the next hardest place to get to I mean, ne is it next easiest? What's the next easiest place to get to? It's Juna. Because... We've got nowhere else that we can go, really. We don't quite have the parts to go to Eve. Well, Eve's a nightmare anyway. So I don't know why I'd go to Eve. So I go to Juna. What I do is I just get the old launch stage, old rocket, in fact, a whole old rocket. Just add another bit to the bottom of it. And we do have a few problems, but I'm not going to say them yet, because I'd be spoiling it for you. I wouldn't want to spoil the video. Oh well. Adding on, adding on a few parachutes here. Prismat barometer is life. SAS units and launch. It's 
looks like a pretty fast launch, but trust me, it was really slow. Really slow. We've used up most of the fuel from the bottom stages, and we start going downwards. So, we just go far up, we have a bit of an explosion, and it's all fine, though. And then, we just have a massive explosion, and doesn't work. Back to the drawing board. If I do a bit of messing about, I try seeing if we can get under the water. It doesn't work. Please bear in mind that all of this is a simulation as well. It's all a simulation. I do it all in a simulate, well, a quote-unquote simulator. Some people might question the validity of it, but it is a simulator. And I do that because I don't want to have to kill any carbles. Well, more than that. I don't want to have to pretend that I haven't killed any carbles. And I'd rather just not kill any carbles. So that's the best way of doing things. But now we're back to the vehicle assembly building. One time speed this time. A very simple rocket. Well, is it a rocket technically? It's an air balloon. Why am I doing this? Because I can. This time in a simulator again. We launch and we go into buoyancy control and make it so we're going 100% buoyant. And we get. We wanted to see how high we could get, but it's not that high. Which is sad face. So. Just for, decided to put on a ton of these onto the little launch, onto the launch stage. So, just to see if it'll work. You're going to be saying, "Oh, of course it won't work. It's not going to work." The launch stage must be so heavy. So we launch it, and we put the buoyancy control up. And you are right, it doesn't work. Well, if you thought it would work, you were wrong. As you can see, it then starts turning into a monster. Of sorts. But we never get the buoyancy to weight above... Minus 288.1. But then, it all breaks. And everything dies. One air balloon left. So, we just do a bit of messing about with it. Bigger engines, bigger engines, yes. Because we've got the most powerful engines of the small thingy. But, are they enough? They appear to be enough at the beginning. But then, we start slowing down, and it just doesn't work. It's just really inefficient. Like, we've wasted the whole launch stage worth of fuel, and there's no point in doing that. So I put on a load of big engines. And you might be thinking, oh, this won't work either. They're colliding. They're just going to blow up. And you'd be right again. Hmm. By this point, I hadn't got a clue on what I could do here. 
I really didn't know what I was going to do. So we try again with a bit less with these, but everything just breaks. So we just put a ton of air balloons and we remove the first stage because why do we need that extra stage if we can get up high? Well, not that high, but maybe just out of the thickest part of the atmosphere with air balloons and you might think oh this won't work and you'd be right again by this point I was seriously considering rage quitting as we look up at the those pesky balloons. Why would they do this to us? Oh well. There were other solutions. Bigger parts. Of course, bigger parts. It's the only way. Well, I, I don't really know why I'm putting on a radio fuel tank. Because it won't help. Uh, yes, I make it pink as well. Because it's the closest thing to purple. As you know, purple is the best colour. And we put on asparagus staging. You can see the six fuel tanks. Something I don't understand about KSP is that... How have they managed to make it so it works with... Six times symmetry and eight times symmetry from two times symmetry? Like, the, the angle snap. How the hell does the angle snap work? I could make it, I could make it eight of those big outside tanks, but uh, I get the feeling that the skipper engine won't be enough, so I add on some solid boosters. So the most powerful solid boosters I have, plus the skipper engine, surely that'll be enough, surely. So we call it the skipper is life, and we launch, certainly a much more successful launch than previous. But then the rocket boost solid boosters run out and we slowly decrease in velocity. And we literally have no way of saving ourselves right now. So we just slow down and come in for a landing and I forgot I was in full time symmetry. Not symmetry, time warp. So I just add in like a ton of those solid boosters just hoping that it'll get me enough out of the atmosphere of its gravity to make it so that I don't lose velocity so we go up and it's really fast this time and that's the stupidest looking rocket ever really fast but then no time to apoapsis is going down really fast then we have a few breakages on the part of my rocket so doesn't work so we add on a few of these small radio engines I would have preferred to add a slightly bigger radio engine but unfortunately I didn't really have much of a choice but then when the solid fuel boosters run out, run out my time to apoapsis doesn't really go down enough to make it bad. So, and I managed to get the time to apoapsis going up quite well. Here you can see that the time to apoapsis is like nearly a minute. It does start going down because I start pointing below retro, no, prograde even. Before below prograde, but I do get it going up again. And we're in a pretty decent orbit. And this is the simulator, so if anything goes wrong, it's all fine. But it seems to all go right. We've got a pretty stable orbit. We'll get to 80 and 79 kilometers. So, pretty decent.
can see there as I get a few screenshots. So here we go to real thing. The one we've all been waiting for. Our Juna mission. So we get up into an orbit. And we still keep the time to Apo apps going up. Apo apps is going up even. Or Apo G if you're American. Point pro grade. And we're in a pretty decent trajectory. Get circular rise. 74 and 79 kilometers. And then we set our maneuver node out to Juna. But I decided it was too much effort to get the maneuver node. So I just go for a, 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 a Muna. A Muna. Um, gravity assist. A Muna gravity assist. To help me. Because. It'll help. As you can see, Mick Jeb. I'm not really sure what happened there. Mech, whenever I delete the node, and it's on node mode, it just messes up. So we get that, and unfortunately, we don't manage to get an escape trajectory. Tra trajectory from carbon you just get a very high orbit and here you can see I'm trying to get a Juno encounter I, I don't really do it very efficiently, do I? I mean, I could just wait for the good transfer windows, but I'm really bad at that. I'm ne I've never been good at transfer windows. So... Uh, we just get into a Juna encounter and try and lower our periapsis to a good enough place. Here, we burn backwards to make advantage of the Oberth effect. I think that's how it's pronounced, the Oberth effect. So we just do our burn as high up as possible. And we try doing a bit of an inclination change as well. But we get into an Ike encounter, and that completely messes up our inclination. So... We then just make it so we go outward a bit, trying to get our periapsis to 60 kilometers. In the end we get it to about 48, I think it was. 46 kilometers and then we have a game crash not sure what caused it but then we get some science we use an Ike gravity assist to get trajectory good we managed to get it so it somehow the maneuver node says that It'll go into a stable orbit around Dyke, which is a bit weird. I didn't know that was possible. But we don't really tamper with the manoeuvre node enough. We just generally mess it up, so I decided not to use it. And then we try and get our carbon encounter. And there we get a carbon encounter. Go for the maneuver node. 
then I delete the maneuver node again. So I have to do it all again. Which is just bad. Why? Why do I be such a noob? And then we take advantage of the Obuff effect again. By doing it as high up as possible. Doing the burn as high up as possible. So bring down our periapsis. We get it within the atmosphere. I think about 28 kilometers. And that's enough to do an error braking maneuver. From that kind of height. You see the solar panels there going. Doing all pretty well. IVA view. There we're coming up on what looks a bit like some mountains on the left there. And some right in front, a really small mountain in front. And we start to land. I have my mech jib on, so I just decided to turn it off. Smart, a smart ASS, turn it off. And we start coming into land, get to a good speed. And the bottom bit goes off, but it starts going up, which is bit funny really. I'm surprised it didn't crash really. So we get a bit of science in the air and then we cover the vessel. 752 science. That is a lot of science. There you can see what I use it on. Use it on some more construction, advanced construction. And we consider getting these two, and we in the end get specialised control. All of the stuff that we need, more better SAS and stuff like that. We get some more science things like the seismometer things. And we've got 240 science, we can use it on something. And I was thinking about saving up the nuclear engine. And it was really hard to choose. But then I'm like, I really need some of this other stuff as well. So I get the jet engine. It's fun. What are games about? Games are about fun. Yeah, jet engine. SCW. For the win, jet engine. Um, I really want those docking ports as well. I really wanted them. I have a little look at the science. Which is a bit glitchy with mods, I think. But yeah, I have been Periaptis. You'll see me playing a game in the next video. Goodbye.